You've heard about ChatGPT. It's changing our world. We see the amazing applications that come about from using that artificial intelligence. The ChatGPT knows so much as runs out and grabs information from all over and then gives it to you very quickly. When you see it the first few times, it's amazing. And then you see it again, it's still amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. But I think it's going to go even farther than that. As a matter of fact, I saw something that was uh, real interesting in uh, Fortune magazine just uh, recently. Uh, my friend Dennis sent this article over. And Dennis, thank you very much for sending that over. I appreciate it. And it's talking about the inter inventor of the web. Uh, it says we'll have a personal chat assistant. It says we'll have a personal chat GPT style assistant in the future. And I think it's pretty amazing when we look at that. This is an article by uh, Chloe Taylor, uh, dated February 17, 2023. And here's Tim Berners-Lee. He's the man that literally did invent the internet <laughs> in 1989. And he said some uh, very interesting things here. We're talking about chat GPT. Mania has gripped the globe in recent weeks with the advanced AI-powered chatbot becoming world famous and securing a $10 billion investment from Microsoft. Well, he goes on to say that you could have a, your own personal assistant, a pod, he calls it, which is um, pretty amazing. And he says here, their so-called pods would be able to grant websites or services access to some or all of the individual's personal information from sleeping patterns to shopping preferences so that it will know you and what you really want. Once they become a reality, an advanced AI powered chatbot similar to AI phenomenon chat GPT could utilize the data pods to act as a digital personal assistant. We'll call it Charlie. Good name. I like it. Charlie is an AI that works for you. And unlike other virtual assistants like Amazon's Alexa, Apple's Siri, the chatbot he envisions wouldn't be linked to big tech. It would legal, legal, legally work for its user, he explained, just like an agent or a lawyer. So you'd be able to ask questions and say, what do you do about this? What can we do with that? And that's the whole benefit, really, of AI. For instance, a little while ago, June and I bought the new mesh system for our uh, uh, internet access, and we put that together. And when we put it together, we uh, had a few questions, just like you do often with some uh, technology. You wonder, how do we do this? How do we do that? It had been ideal to call a service. Sometimes we do that. We call, talk to a smart person who can, they're on the other end of the line, walk us through what to be done. And I got to thinking, wait a minute, this is kind of... Uh, Silly if we would have to do that. What if instead they could take all of the knowledge that's out there for all the different devices that we have and you store it in a certain place so that we could then access that? Much like if we want to know all the history about uh, Leo Tolstoy or I want to know all about uh, uh, microbiology in a particular area or whatever it is. That information is out there somewhere in writing, in text, in videos, and in the brain power of really smart people who can then put it out there as well. So, for instance, let's think about you get a new device. For instance, we, we're dealing with that right now. We just got a new Internet access device from T-Mobile uh, yesterday. Matter of fact, there it is right there. It's sitting on the shelf there. It's the way for us to interface and check. We're looking at our, a landline that we've had before. And probably shifting over. But we had a couple of questions on it. I don't know that much about it, nor do I really care to. I just want it to work. But somebody somewhere has that information. What if we could take a robot, a, some kind of a device, our smartphone or whatever, and we just plug into it, and that comes back and says, oh, this is what you have. It quickly analyzes our situation. We're telling it, yes, you have authorization to look at our property where we have our various speakers. We want some internet access in this room and over here etc that kind of thing and then it could make recommendations and do the adjustments right there on the spot wouldn't that be nice? Yeah. It's like having your own customized assistant as a robot using AI. Well, I'm thinking something like this is possible. I think we should be able to do that. Probably not immediately, but place. What do you think? I'd love to hear from you and what your take is on that and where we're going with AI. It is amazing and the kind of possibilities are really incredible. So that means for you entrepreneurs, or as we like to say, stark raving entrepreneurs, there's some real good opportunities here. And I encourage you to explore it. Leave a note below, wherever you're catching this on the interwebs out there. Just let us know what you think on it and the ideas and suggestions you might have. I'm Terry Brock with Stark Raving Entrepreneurs, and I'll look forward to hearing from you.